Hey there. Today I'm going to show you how to use your laptop or computer to have this as a main monitor. As you can see on this side of the screen, you can see me. And this is how I utilize the computer to see myself if I'm in focus or not. Because I'm using the A7 III, and as you know, A7 III doesn't have a flip up screen. But with the new firmware update, you can actually connect using the USB-C cable to your laptop or in my case, a docking station, and then use your laptop as the main monitor to control the autofocus. You can also look at the uh, histogram. I'm sharing my screen here. So right now I'm looking at the controls here. I can select the focus area and uh, right now I have used a flexi spot medium. I can change the shutter, aperture, ISO. I can see the histogram and I can have a grid to see where I am. So I can use all these controls with the monitor right here. And especially when you're sitting and uh, shooting at the desk where you're editing, it's a very good option because with Sony A7 III, it doesn't have flip up screen. So it's hard to see if you are in focus or not. So you can once in a while look at the laptop and you know the computer monitor and see if you are still in focus or not. Software that I'm using is the remote, as you can see here. Uh, you can download it from the app store. You can also download it from Sony's website. So I'll show you that where to download it. It's a cool option because you don't need to set up any external monitor or you don't need any bulky thing you just need a cable all right so in order to connect the camera to the computer you have to do certain things on the camera first go to the menu on your menu make sure that control with smartphone is selected as off then go back to the fifth menu button on top and connect to usb connection from auto change it to pc remote and that should do it. Now, next step is the actual physical connection. So here I have a USB-C cable and the camera has a USB-C port. So take the USB-C cable, connect it on the USB-C port on the camera and attach the other section to the laptop and then open the remote software. You should see the camera name. Double click on it in order to establish the connection. Once the camera is connected, then you should be able to see whatever the camera is seeing on your computer screen. And from there on, you can remote control the camera. All right, guys, there you have it. So now it's connected. So what this camera is seeing, if I show you that, what this camera is seeing is what you see on the screen. So let me put it here and say hi i'm enjoying it and this is the first time i'm using it so i thought it will be a cool idea to share it with you guys so you understand if you're using a7 III and sitting on a desk near to uh, where you're editing and if your camera is on the desk then you know this is a better option to use rather than using the external monitor so previously I used to have the cell phone set up. I have to connect to the camera's Wi-Fi and then, you know, go to the app and you can see, but it's a pain because the phone doesn't have a stand and all that. So I have to somehow hold it and it's not easy. I wanted to show the controls available on the cell phone. So on, if I click menu, somebody like my Instagram, that's live. All right, so I can do grid line. I can do it off a mirror mode. I don't need that. I can control the shutter while I'm recording. I can control the aperture. I can control ISO. I can display certain information on the screen and then start and stop recording. I don't see an option to do the focus adjustment so let me stop recording on the camera there 
and I'm still recording on the phone and doing the voiceover so you guys can still hear it. So yeah, I think if I stop recording, I can do white balance. I can do change of recording mode. I can change the movie format, things like that. And I think the phone doesn't have all these controls that I'm seeing here. It had minimum controls and with the desktop app, I see we have a lot more controls here. So I can even stop the recording right here using this. I think that's all for today. I just wanted to share this quick tip with you guys. So if you find this useful, please consider sharing it with your friends and others, those who have Sony camera. And also consider subscribing to this channel and give me that like button share this video to many others so all right thanks all for watching today and i'll see you in the next one take care bye